Hi there, it's Jaya. I'm just going to show you how to lay out a simple rectangle on your paper. Four sides, that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to make that square and we're going to make it three inches by three inches. So I have taken my scale um, with my triangle set right up against the edge of my you can hear it clicking, that's the edge of my T-square. I'm taking the inch side of my scale, and because I'm right-handed, it's, it, it is upside down on my page, but because I'm so smart, I'm gonna count three inches backwards <laughs> for my next magic act, no. Okay, so I'm gonna start at 10, 10 inches. This is where I'm gonna place my rectangle. I'm gonna make a little tick mark on my paper, then I'm going to count three inches. That's one, that's two, and that's three. And I'm going to lean over and make sure that my tick mark is right on line with that seven. So now I have two tick marks at three inches apart. I'm going to set aside my triangle and I'm going to take my straight edge and pull it up to the first tick and then just run a little horizontal light line right through that line. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then I'm gonna come up on top and I'm going to do the same thing with that line. And you can see I'm using very light lines because these are called construction lines. And they're there simply for me to figure out where my shape is gonna be on this plan. So now I need to measure the width of three inches. So I'm going to line my, well, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to come inside of here, decide where I want the right hand side of my tri of excuse me, of my rectangle. I'm going to hit the 12 right there. And I'm going to count one, two, three. I'm going to hit the nine. So now I have two new tick marks on my drawing. I simply move my triangle right up to the line here on the drawing. And because I know the parameters of the three inches that I need to draw, I don't really have to lay this out in a guideline or a construction line. But for the purpose of this video, I will. But notice my guidelines do not travel very far beyond because this is the perimeter. This is going to be the end of my three inches. So I just need to get that kind of laid out on the page. You know, I take a look at it and I see, whoa, I didn't even have to draw that line that long. So I will usually wait and I will then go over my lines with my pencil of choice for the specific drawing and the specific line. In this case, I'm making an object line, so I'm using my uh, .05 with the HB lead. So since I know where the corners of my object are, I'm gonna start a little bit beyond, and I'm gonna end just a little beyond, like so. And then I'm coming down to the next line, and I'm going to go right on top of that line with my object line. I'm going to roll my pencil, right? You see, I'm making a crisp corners. And then I don't have a lot of room ahead of me here on the table, so I'm going to make this top one. <clears throat> so now I have completely created a rectangle that's good enough for me. I hope it's good enough for you. Now, I do want to point one thing out because I can be critical of my own work as everyone should be. I'm taking a look at this and I would say, Miss Rose, you did not turn your pencil very well on this line because I can see that these two lines are different widths. But luckily, when you go to draw your rectangle, we're okay if we have a little beefier outline because your lines on the inside for your assignment are not going to be as heavy, right? Because now I've gone over these lines twice. Notice that I perfectly aligned my new line on top of my old line. If they do not align, 
or if one kind of slides past the other one, uh, you need to erase that entire line and draw it again. Yes, that's right. <clears throat> However, I would probably slide this through on a drawing that I might do. But I do want to point things out to you because I want you to know that, I don't know, I can see that. I can see it. So other people might be able to see it. But you see that little crossover in the corner? Let's see if I can get in on it. Make it a little bigger for you. There we are. This is exactly what you're looking for because the truth is when we make these lines like this we are actually identifying the point where those two lines cross once we start adding dimensions to this drawing which we will do uh, but I want you to see that our guidelines our construction lines are very light we place the object on the paper then we take our pencil and make our marks with intention like I said, it's all about intent. Okay, see you next time.